hello. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mythical Chef Josh, and today we are doing a Mythical Kitchen themed episode of Try Not to Eat. Oh my god! Oh! Bad joke, I'm so sorry. Also, oh I believe god. Keith is very funny. Hi, Hi my you. name's Josh. Can I, can I open it? Yes, me too. Hey! Yeah. Up, man? Josh! I, I, I knew from the voice. He's not here. No. I don't know. Great, I'll just talk to you. Yeah, that's your, how's your day going? It's going really good. I am so excited to try your food. I'm excited to feed y'all. Try I'm, not to eat, Jamie. I'm hungry. I'm starving, you and can. it's us. Uh, yeah! If you thought our punishments were bad, yeah. No, 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 no! Yeah. He's making the punishment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have to okay, pull right. these dumplings. Okay. Oh, Media yeah. tacos are my favorite tacos. Yes. Yeah. I oh, saw oh. this. I was wrapping up the last And it looked like that. the most amazing yeah, thing in the world. I do love a good dumpling. Mm -hmm. pot of water. This has been so much buildup. I've never wanted to eat a dish so bad. Even Josh was I'm like, just, um, I'm so excited about this. Oh, I wow. Was. Why is the first round so hard? Yep, yep, get, yep, yep. Cool, so okay. I'm losing. You're losing? Immediately. What genius who thought to combine birria and soup dumplings? He's my hero, and right now, this is your only chance to try them. Yeah, give me, give me. Oh, wow. Yep. Get the frick out of here, dude. Uh, you're going. <laughs> yes. Didn't even have time to process. Yeah, let's eat. Oh, okay. Oh! Wow. Mmm. Yes, sir. Oh, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Like the dumpling skin is so soft. Uh, and then, homemade everything rolled out by hand. There is a god somewhere and right I think here. it's in this food. We ate it. Okay. I didn't know I had a voyeuristic streak, but just sitting back here watching people <laughs> eat, kind of fun. You know, if I don't eat this, it's not against you. I'm just trying to win a prize. I, I don't care. Win. Here's the thing. I don't know whenever else I'm going to be able to eat Josh's food. I live like two miles from here, man. You can come over. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm out right, of so here. I'm putting that right down. Why? No. <laughs> I can come over. No. <laughs> what are you no. talking about? He invited me. He didn't invite you. <laughs> it you know what? In your mouth, though. It's you might as well eat mine. <gasps> I will win and you can have mine since you've I'm, already. How's that? Is that good? I'm so happy right now. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good, good. Thank you good. so much. Have uh, you ever had Bidia and a soup dumpling no, before? No. No. Bidia, yes. Soup dumplings, also yes. Bidia soup dumpling. I don't even know what Bidia is. It's just shredded like beef soup, basically. Okay. It's it, from Mexico. Nice. Saludos. This is great. In different regions, we use different animals. So you go to like uh, Jalisco or like Guadalajara, mm -hmm. the tapatios over there, the uh, birria de chivo, mm -hmm. which comes from a goat. There's like birria de borrego with lamb mm. up north, and then Tijuana style birria de res is the one that we most often get in Los Angeles and what really kicked off the trend. Eat I want to know what the thing. prize is, though. Mm. If you don't eat that, I'm going it. to. Yeah, I'm definitely going to eat that if you don't. Really? Exactly. Yeah. Nicole? I almost want to eat it so she doesn't eat it. <laughs> you better hurry up. So not fair. Fine, I'll do it. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes me so happy because people, you know, in my studio, Wait. they've eaten all this food. They're sure. bored by yeah, it. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. It was worth it. Uh, Dude. Really good. Dude, I'll take more to go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I love me some beer. Video is good. If yeah. you ever get the chance, B I R R I A. Oh my god. If I'm hungover, I'll get eat some beer. Be light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly! Orange oh, the orange yeah, chicken barm! I've seen orange them. chicken barm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 this is going to be a yes for me, mm -hmm. personally speaking. It's 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 all, it was a yes from the beginning. As soon as I laid Jeez. eyes. I didn't know if it was going to be the orange chicken parm or if it was the orange chicken turkey that you made, which, oh my god. My god, my stomach is going to be on mm. fire! And shout out to the fly. It's not like dumb ideas. And just make it's not dumb. The best food so, oh it's my so gosh, it's, it's so, so smart. smart. Dumb is not the word I would personally My mouth is watering so hard right now, it's not even funny. It's making me mad. Italians oh. and Panda Express might be rolling over in their graves right now, but this sweet, spicy orange chicken parm is the fusion dish dreams are made of. My God. Right, right. Just, this is what, as Hillary Duff once said, this is what dreams are made of. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> I'm going to uh, you could pull up show my... some self restraint. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Uh, Not even trying, is he? Girl, why would I? 
Oh, In front of our guest? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It's so good! Huh? I can't believe you referenced the fly. Because we called it the goy fly because there was uh, Jews during Shabbat you would have to hire a goy, a non-Jew, mm -hmm. to turn things on for you. So the bit was that there was a fly that was not Jewish mm -hmm. that would help us with cooking tasks. That mm -hmm. is a, such a deep cut. <laughs> Nicole, just give in, all right? This is a very special episode for me. It's my first time here. I just wanna watch people eat good food. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I always thought you were a great guy, but the fact that you cook this well, it's like, I, I really wanna be your friend now. You didn't wanna okay. be my friend before? Like before it was like, no, he's kind of just a schmuck. No, no, Josh, I, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean like- Fight, just, fight, fight! Are you use me for fight. anything else? You want my Netflix password? Yeah. Actually, that would be nice. <laughs> Love dumplings, but orange chicken, it's different. Yeah, so there's actually no orange in it. The orange is su really? uh, supplanted by tomatoes, so we basically made like a tomato agrodolce, mm. which is like a sweet and, 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 and vinegary tomato sauce, a ton of garlic, rosemary, oregano, stuff like that, very Italian aromatics, but oh. with sort of like Chinese American fried chicken and oh. sweet sauce. Placement, yeah. This is a this is a personal fave too. I've never sat here and my mouth literally water while trying. I rarely win these anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I watch these, I'm like, how hard can it be to just not eat it? And then now that I'm actually watching it right? in front of you, I'm like, yeah. I can't stop myself from eating bags of Cheetos at home. How can I stop myself from eating this? <laughs> exactly. You, know? you want to bite? You won't have yeah. to do the punishment. Yeah, yeah. Ready for the next round? Nope. No, I'm <laughs> still eating this. Mm -hmm. Let me take my time. <laughs> Food is to be appreciated, Nicole. Ooh. Not, no, no. Not in the no, 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 no. I can't believe they don't sell this. This is so uh, smart. Right? This is so smart. My mouth is water, and when my mouth waters, I get mad. I'm honestly, it's so satisfying watching them just plate it together, too. Dude, straight up. I don't even have to eat it. I can just watch it all day. Yep. Your delicious creamy mac, you infused with all that french fry flavor, that American cheese and Thousand Island sauce. Oh my god, do you know how good this is gonna be? <laughs> I'm gonna take such a good nap after this! Mm -hmm. This was Willet mac and cheese. He's in the same room as us. That just hit me really Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Forget your boring old craft, mythical chef Josh and his team have combined Anthony Bourdain's favorite fast food with this creamy and dreamy mac and cheese that'll give you all the tingly feels. Shout out to Anthony Bourdain, rest. Mm -hmm. Chefs, what I've prepared for you today is a white cheddar and American mac and cheese topped with in and out style spread, aka Thousand mm -hmm. Island, American cheese, caramelized onions, and then crispy French fry breadcrumbs on top. Okay, should I mix preemptively or should I layer through? I would layer through first okay. and then mix with like the last 40%, but okay. thank you for asking. Nobody ever Listen, asked me that. I'm, I'm here for the <laughs> professional. Well, what, what the hell did I just This is the weirdest sushi on my case I've ever seen. Okay, layered. Mm -hmm. Okay, whoa. All right. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I take time I to love like, that. I love that you're ready for the thumbnails. No, I'm just here to eat. Dog. I take time to just like soak this in. You're like, mm, good. <laughs> French fry breadcrumbs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this one rules. This is actually the first recipe video that we ever did on the Mythical Kitchen channel. This was the one. Oh go. my god, thank you. <laughs> we, knew, we knew because of that 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 was the video we were gonna launch with. Mm. And I'm so happy we did. Also, we had a weird lighting setup in that video. We were like, what if red lights mm. in the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, drop that three episodes in. Hey, Josh, have you ever gotten the monkey style burger from In and Out? No, but Monkey Style, I believe, was a technically fake secret menu item. Monkey Style is when you take an In-N-Out burger, it can be double-double, whatever, and you add animal style fries inside of that. It was invented by Eli A. Ruth on April Fools. Would have been like, what, 2013, 2014? Yeah, like, yeah. that's about right. Okay. A decade ago. Oh, God. Um, and uh, Nicole, fun fact, was sent a cease and desist for making a video about it from In-N-Out. No oh, way. wow. Oh, wow. Eli was really that. mad because he didn't get a cease and desist letter. <laughs> <laughs> so think about me, I cook to survive. <laughs> I'm like, I've eaten out like every day, should cook something. Mm. So then I do and I'm like, well, this is edible. I can eat this and I don't hate myself while eating it, so good enough. With a little bit of love and a little bit of knowledge, you can get in the Mythical Cookbook, which I'm 80% sure we've already announced on the Mythical channel. Close and enough. if we haven't, oh. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, let's get, get get one clean separate. And you can learn how to make this exact dish with the Mythical Cookbook available for pre-order now. Buy it wherever you buy books. It comes out in March or something. As good as this food is, though, is as bad as the punishment is. It's like if you have the power to create good in the world, but it's almost fun, right? you have the power to create bad, and we've made real bad. I have sinned against the culinary <laughs> gods. 
<laughs> and I will pay for them one day, and that will not be today. Despite the facts that. Oh, I grew up. I grew up. Never my son grew up. This was on at our house every morning. High time for lasagna. Red link. Oh, okay. Bye. They can, yeah, I was like, the elbows are elbowing. That's literally us right now. <laughs> Lasagnator? I think the lasagnator is yeah. Was the lasagna how, how do don't do that, to <laughs> no, Don't do that. <laughs> Let's go. Right. There's cheese in the dough. I'm getting mad again because my mouth is watering. Cheese in the again. dough. What can we do now? <laughs> then the sauce has Wendy's bacon. Yo. I just love cheese. Look at those layers, dude. More American cheese, what? and on the top that is a baconator bun that has been crumbled on it. Whoa! You, know, you got a baconator bun? You just crumbled. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. You got to get it. You got to get it. Anybody can grab it. The biggest question of will it lasagna? Lasagna has been asked and answered, and this Wendy's Baconator lasagna that's a half pound of beef and piles of bacon is like Garfield's carnivore hallucination. I am going to take the hottest nap. So a fun fact about why Trevor was in that video specifically <laughs> oh, okay. is that everybody else on the team got COVID. This was a couple <laughs> years ago. <laughs> My favorite part about this is the bacon bolognese, a little bit of bechamel, some cheddar on top. The bun is, of course, on top as toasted breadcrumbs. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, the, the cheese, the bacon, the beef, that's all ground up and turned into a baconator bolognese, probably with jarred marinara sauce, because again, mm. it was only Trevor. <laughs> yeah, There's like stuff. nine layers to this. Jesus. <laughs> Oh Jesus? Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Which, by the way, Jesus. Now I'm just making you bites. Thank you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa. Is it good? Whoa. Why are you showing out? Sometimes what? we do things because we can, Keith. Oh my God. Period. Well, keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. I don't know how to make money any other way, man. Like, I can't be a financial planner, you know what I mean? You don't need to. If you started making money any other type of way, I would have a problem with it because this is your calling. I might pass on this one. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I mean, again, here's the thing. You, you've no, already, no you're already punishment ready. I know, but that mac and cheese is good in my mouth right now and I don't want to ruin it with the bacon. It really tastes like a baconator. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. I think us just like slowly but surely like slinking down mm -hmm. to the tables, is it says what needs to be said. Hot Cheeto! No! Spread it on both the bottom and the top. No and way. get a little bit of that cabbage. I love and hot make Cheetos. Nice love pickles. the pickles cabbage. Three. I put pickles three. I've been waiting so long to try this. One, Look at two, that. How do you how do? You do? do? That yeah. That is absolutely right brilliant. Oh my gosh. There's your flaming hot Cheeto, crispy chicken sandwich. Side wheat. And fresh jalapeno <sighs> slaw. Oh! What Let's are you talking about? How is that not on a menu somewhere? Deep fried and flaming hot, Nashville could only dream of such a fiery hot creation. This flaming hot Cheetos chicken sando will surely set you ablaze. How does it look better in real life? I know, that I never think. works that way. What? Honestly, out. if you know the deep cut lore behind this, do you know what the pop-up that I ran for about a month and a half yes. was called? I don't know what the pop-up was called, but I know that you ran one and you lost a bunch of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that bite or that side? Oh, this side, this side. I'm not gonna like scoot back, I gotta get under it. I washed my hands right before the episode. <laughs> good. <laughs> Cook on that's good too. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. So yours is actually a little bit special because oh. we know you got the onion allergy. There's oh, onion powder in Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So what we did, mm. we got an organic white cheddar Cheetos that did not have onion powder. Then we recreated our own Flamin' Hot seasoning down oh. to the food dye and made yours special. Shout out to Nicole from my team. She's the one that actually did that. For me? But you've been mm. eating, I just watched For you me. eat Flamin' Hots earlier. When? I'm just playing. <laughs> I was like, you're lying? I know that you made the hot Cheeto fried chicken sandwich. What else did you make there? The items we launched with, it was a birria and mac and cheese chimichanga. It's a deep fried burrito for those who don't know. And also I think the logo that we had, it was like an anthropomorphic sausage that was kind of like hunched over with bloodshot eyes. I don't think it said that it was like tasty Wait, food. Are you okay, Jack? I'm sorry, this is phenomenal. Let's go. go. It's so juicy, but crunchy. The interesting thing about deep frying Cheetos is that it's an already cooked and fried product, so it tends to burn, so you do have to fry it at a bit of a lower temperature. And so I think that way it gets a more gentle cook on the chicken as well. Gotta love that Taco Bell shredders. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I I love ice break. I think people don't give it credit. It's the same thing when you when you go to McDonald's and get a Big Mac and you have like the you have the box in your lap 
Mm -hmm. So that any of the shredders that falls out, you can like mm -hmm. slip mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, it's like Korean panchan during bar. You know, you just you get in the little little shredders with the little Big Mac sauce. You know, this guy gets me. <laughs> uh, I want another one. You will get one more dish. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well, congratulations, Sharon. <laughs> Yay! Are you ready to see your prize? Yes. I am Tom Hanks. Hey, my name is Ben Schwartz. I'm Margaret Cho. <gasps> Hi, I'm Jason Kelsey. Mm -hmm. I'm Brittany Broski. Hello. Brittany! John, John Boyega. Josh Pack. Corbin Blue. Hey, that guys, was Corbin was Blue? Blue. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did you in the game? <laughs> I've not seen him in so long. I would be so intimidated to cook for these people. Oh. 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 My God. Are you getting all of that? Oh, and what did I do to you? Dip that in the cocktail. Personally. Oh, to make this. Cocktail, though. Okay. The garlic bread, it's crispy on top. Yo! Press it in, the butter comes out of it. And so that's exactly what I want. Dip that mm. in the shrimp sauce. Arizona Gunslinger Chipotle Habanero is the last hot sauce I'm gonna consume before I die. There. You see this? When I said the tortilla is translucent, so boom. You can like physically see it through it because of all the grease coming Period. out. Period. Oh my god. That's how, that's God intended. Jeez. As God intended. Oh. And the really Grim part Reaper part walking out. I was just about to say, did <laughs> I see that correctly? Oh, you again. Again? <laughs> the show that we do, Last Meals, we have celebrity guests on uh, that come on and eat their ideal last meal. Then I inter interview them about death. It's my favorite thing that we do. So this is my gift to you uh, for winning the challenge. San Diego style carne asada burrito, my single favorite food on the planet. Mm -hmm. My favorite hot sauce, Arizona Gunslinger Chipotle Habanero, a perfect shrimp cocktail. We have a whole lot of garlic bread with ranch for dipping. And also, you get our first ever piece of Last Meals merch. Uh, we all gotta eat and we're all gonna die. <gasps> it's the opening line. Oh, yeah, buddy! A reminder of your own mortality as you eat this delicious food. I'm so excited and happy to like move in with you because like, I mean, <laughs> I'll get this later. So, I mean, I'll get the hat, I'll get all of this, like Mills galore. I've never tried this one. It's great. Oh, it's so good. It's so hot. It's a little hot. Yeah, it's a I can't. Hot. Yeah. No, you don't have to. I want the hat. I want the hat. I want to eat the burrito and I want the hat. Wait, just, just for old time's sake. Thank you. <laughs> you get the tails. You can eat the foil. I mean, some good shrimp cocktail. Mm -hmm. Even though we're all gonna die, it's okay because we got shrimp cocktail uh -huh. here. On there. Take the hat off. You gotta take I'm it sorry. off. I'll I'm get sorry. you. I'll get you one from home. And now that is friendship. Mm -hmm. It's his favorite. You're gonna <laughs> you try, try it. I have to. I'm a little nervous. I mean, this is really scary. No, it's okay. You have ranch next to it. Yeah, there's yeah, ranch. That's a good amount. That's a good Ooh, amount. that's a lot. Uh, yeah, that's coming off. <laughs> it's got punch. It's got punch. <laughs> uh oh. Unfortunately, Jamie, Izzy, Keith, Brian, and Jack, you're all tempted. I'm sorry. I don't care who it is. If the chef is literally just mm -hmm. sitting there watching me, I'm, I, ha I have to. I, thank you for that. That was great. <laughs> Blood. Will it taco? Oh, dude! No! The original Will It Taco? On Earth. What is this? People eat this. Now, are you telling blood? me that this is blood from a pig that's been congealed? Yes. And uh, cooked? Yes. I'm going to throw oh, up. It didn't look that so bad, heavy. but when they're talking about it, it's gross. Okay. Oh, it's just blood. You can do this. Yeah. That was a nice crunch. Oh. <laughs> Are you Kinda sure scared. about that? I'm not mad. My mouth's not watering okay. at all. Well, there we go. I will say, I don't love blood, mm -hmm. personally. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> well, so, Nicole. No, you did. Nicole Wait. No, 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 no. No. This is one of the original Good Mythical Morning foods that Rhett and Lake absolutely hated. This is the blood taco. So, it's cold, congealed. Pig's blood, it's actually a food that I really like, used very commonly in Vietnamese porridge and a soup called Bun Ba Hue. But what we have done is we yeah. made a beef bile salsa uh, to drench it in for a little bit of flavor, a little bit of kick, you know? So this is sort of the evolution of the mythical food program in a nutshell. Do you so mean enjoy. bile as in the, the stomach vomit? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh my, just the... At least, at least there's some... Some what? Sauce on it. <laughs> Bone apple teeth. Five bites. Sorry. You're not. No. Yeah. Dude, uh, I'm like, what it? Oh. Yeah, you said you like birria, right? Sorry. Stop. You got the consomme. <laughs> this is making me not want to move in. <laughs> oh, <Cheers>. no. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, I hit the sauce up. Don't do that. No, no, no. My tongue touched it. 
it, it's so bad! Oh god, it's... Let's go! Oh my god, Phil just like went to my body. Wow, she's doing okay. Would you like another shrimp? Oh, please. Thank you. Oh, I'll have to keep oh! in this bedroom for oh! you. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh! Yeah, nope. there she goes. Got it. There is a Oh my god, it's so bitter. Uh uh. No. Uh, I've had the stomach. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! It tastes so much like throw up! Oh, it does! Uh, like, uh, oh my god. Oh god! <laughs> crazy. And people actually eat this. It's a little bit bitter. You know, that's probably like the, the bile. Yeah, I think it's the, I think it's the bile, but you know. This is the worst thing I've ever had in my life. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Just to let you know, it's terrible. Thank you. Okay, here we One, go. Two, two three. three. Oh! 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 You guys made this. Okay, yeah. We've but... gotten soft, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly so, like your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ignore your dental health. There's no way. That is disgusting. Sir. I used to think you were a really nice guy, Josh. Now, not so much. Um, we should talk after this. Um, I don't want to move in with you. You sublet for a month, see how you like it. Would I order this myself? Probably not. But if I'm really hungry and Probably it's not. Me, final thoughts? I feel like it's Anthony Bourdain's fault. <laughs> Look, yeah. this will be your way to move me out. Let's do the sub piece. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for stopping by. Check out Mythical Kitchen. Also, click the link below. You can buy our new merch collection. And stay tuned for the next People vs. Food vs. Mythical Kitchen episode. Nicole, cool. why are there only three? Because I didn't make it extra, but there was an extra burrito. Mm. Oh my oh. god!